Detect a hint of oak, some floral undertones, and maybe science. When you hold me in your arms so tight, you let me know everything's all right. Do you know what the Marangoni effect is? The flow of cheese through tubular pasta? Nope, not macaroni either. You guys, when a radio is playing underwater? No, not Marconi. Oh, the Marangoni effect was named after Dr. Carlo Marangoni, who studied the phenomena for his doctoral dissertation at University of Pavia and published his findings in 1865. Yep, it is the hydrodynamic effect that results from a gradient in service tension. The service tension gradient is normally due either to concentration or temperature variations. The resulting flow will be in the direction of higher service tension. The first Marangoni flow considered was the tears of wine phenomena. It was explained by James Thompson in 1855, which actually predates Marangoni's first published work on the subject by a decade. As you can see, there are tears slowly forming around the edge of the wine glass. Some wine experts use this to determine the quality of a wine. Others just take a sip. Let's take a closer look at the physics behind the Marangoni effect. First, we start with a glass of wine. The wine has a service tension, sigma, given by the service tension of alcohol and water. Now swirl the glass. This produces a thin film of wine above the liquid level. Evaporation occurs quickly in the thin film due to the high service area. Since alcohol has a higher vapor pressure than water, it will evaporate quicker. This results in an increased service tension in the thin film as water, the residual, has a higher service tension than alcohol. This causes a gradient pointed upwards along the thin film. From the stress balance at a free surface equation, we know that a stress will result in the direction of the surface tension gradient. This stress is opposed by gravity, pulling the liquid in the film downwards. Viscosity also counteracts the flow, but it is not considered in this example. Because the stress due to the surface tension gradient is greater than gravity at the beginning, the fluid will begin moving up the glass. Surface tension acts to accumulate liquid near the top of the thin film. The accumulated fluid will contain more alcohol that hasn't had a chance to evaporate yet. This reduces the surface tension gradient and thus the resulting stress. Eventually, gravity and surface tension stress reach similar magnitudes and the accumulated fluid becomes unstable. And the fluid will rush back down the glass under gravity. Looking at it from a different view, you can see a sheet of wine flowing up in the direction of the surface tension gradient and accumulating near the top. After some time, the gravity outweighs the surface tension stress and causes the wine to tear. Note that because a static system would have to have no stress, there would have to be no surface tension gradient. This means that while the alcohol evaporation continues, the system will never reach a steady state. 